I'd like to invite Reverend Dr. Holly Bonner to join me for the presentation of the award to Anthony Turner. Remember to breathe. That is the mantra of Anthony Turner. And it's not surprising to those of us who know this amazing human being, because in breath, there is life. And what an amazing life Anthony has lived. Born in Des Moines, Iowa, Anthony began singing at the age of four in a baby choir at Bethel American Methodist Episcopal Church. Growing up in Iowa during the 1960s, Anthony experienced the changing landscape of the civil rights movement in our country. It would have both a profound impact on his singing and his personal values. He credits three things that helped guide him through his life's most difficult struggles. The first was God, the second his mother, who despite her passing remains the cornerstone of this man's heart, and of course, music. Anthony has performed throughout the United States and Europe in solo recitals, concerts, opera, and musical theater. A gifted baritone, his performances include the world premiere of Mr. Turner's commissioned song cycle, Who Am I?, based on the book The Gathering by Janine Otis, and set to music by Mary Carol Warwick. It premiered at the Zilka Hall in Houston, Texas. Who Am I? is set to the text of incarcerated youth, those who experienced drug addiction, physical abuse, and were victims of gun violence. Other performances include a recital of the poets of the Harlem Renaissance on the music at St. Albans concert series. Summertime, living easy, poignant, clever, and fun at the Piano Performance Museum Festival in Hunter, New York, and Katerina Ballads by Ted Hearn. Anthony has also sung the roles of Tony Esposito in The Most Happy Fella at Wagner College as a guest faculty artist. And he was Clarence Thomas in Clarence and Anita by New York composer Ben Yormanotsky with Underworld Productions. He specializes in classical music by black and minority composers, a literature which is consistently included in his concert repertoire. Despite having a hectic schedule of a performer, Anthony has a long history of giving back to his community. He was a volunteer at the Arthur Kill Correctional Facility in Staten Island for six years. And as a volunteer, Anthony taught private voice to one student that resulted in a solo recital, a first in New York for an incarcerated youth with an invited audience. The recital was covered by New York One and Anthony was named the Staten Islander of the Week. And at Wagner College, Anthony is a beloved member of the music department and the campus community. What I love most about Anthony is how he takes the time and makes the effort to get to know his students. He is real with them. He looks at them holistically. He reminds them to make sure that the words they choose to sing are meaningful and reminds them to use their talent to uplift humanity. Anthony actively serves students who are members of our Men and Women Color Initiative and our Black Student Union. Teaching comes as natural to him as singing a note. Anthony, God has given you so many gifts, and you have blessed this community by sharing those gifts with us, not just through your beautiful voice, but through your kindness, your realness, your wisdom, your humor, your servant's heart, and through your mentorship. Illuminart appreciates you. And Anthony, it is my honor to give you the Mentorship Award. presents the Mentorship Award to Anthony Turner in recognition of your invaluable contributions to the world of music, as well as providing mentorship to countless students whose lives you have enriched. Well, I uh, thought coming into this, I said, I, I'm shocked, and I was saying, why me? And I'm grateful. Uh, to my friends who are here to celebrate with me uh, and 
Reverend Dr. Holly Bonner, I appreciate you. <laughs> and Illuminarts, uh, thank you for blending me into your family. And what an honor to be on the same list uh, with such uh, distinguished honorees this evening. Congratulations to you. And Dr. Bonner is correct. Oh, and I must mention my uh, partner of 25 years, uh, the Reverend Brian Kenneth McCormick, uh, who is also a clinical social worker. I don't do this alone. And every time I step on stage, I remind my students that every breath that you take is the breath of the world community, be it positive or negative, and it comes through your individual physical form into a beautiful uh, uh, offering for the uplift of humanity, and that's what song does for me. Uh, this evening is, is quite special. I, uh, I thank you to Larry and Janine. Oh my goodness, a thank you to the table, thank you to the tables. Uh, the room. I'm so honored and, and pleased to accept this award. Thank you very much. Here is Anthony Turner singing Colors of My Life from Barnum. And before I, I start, I'm glad I brought the words because I knew because of the event that I was going to forget because I'm not in, in that space. And I, I want to tell you why I chose this piece. I'm also telling my students that we're here for a short while on the planet. And how do you want people to remember you? Or what legacy do you want to leave uh, when you transition? And so I'm going to let the song and the words uh, speak for themselves, and I hope that it is as meaningful to you as it is to me. The Colors of My Life from Barnum. The Colors of My Life Beautiful and bold, the purple glow of indigo, the gleam of green and gold, the splendor of a sunrise, the dazzle of a
believe a shining 